Ms. Cordell, this is your daughter, and it is your claim that she owes you for a loan that you made to her, and in addition to the loan, that at some point she used a credit card of yours to take care of a tow for her car, and you want that money as well. Your daughter says that the money that you gave to her was a gift. There was never any discussion of returning that money. In addition, she says that the use by her of your credit card was sort of an honest mistake, and you subsequently had the credit company reverse those charges, and she gave you the money. So she's got a counterclaim for the money for the tow. So let's take care of the second part first. Let's take care of the credit card. At some point, you gave your daughter some money, you didn't have the cash, and you used a credit card in order to give her some of the money. Yes. And when subsequently a car had to be towed, according to you, the towing company had that credit card on file. You used that credit card for the tow, and it was a mistake. Did you give your mother money for that tow when you realized the mistake? Yes. How much money did you give her? For I the gave tow? her um, a money order for $152. Okay, so you gave her a money order. Did your daughter give you a money order? Yes. For $152 for the tow? Correct. Did you subsequently have that charge reversed? I, yes, I Just told... Just a second. So you had that charge reversed because you said that the person wasn't authorized to do that? Correct. So that you are $150 on the plus side because if you had the charge reversed and if your daughter gave you the money, you are on the plus side of $152. We are correct. Correct. Because you have a counterclaim for that yes, money back. So on the defendant's side, we now have $152. Now I want you to start to tell me about the loans. When and why did you make the first loan to your daughter? In June of 2017, I went over to her house to see her and my grandkids, and um, I asked her if she was working Uber. She said no. I said, why not? Did you get another job? She said no. She said, my car is broke. She said, it's going to cost over $2,000 to get it fixed. I said, well, Danielle, I'm not going to be able to help you. I said, because... You know, I, all I got to do is go home and look to see what I have. I said, but I don't think I'm going to be able to help you. And she said, well, I will pay you back. I said, well, I still have to look at the credit card to see, you know, how much I have on it. How do you support yourself? I'm a machine operator. I make $10.06 an hour. So you rely on your credit cards. You don't have much in savings. No, I don't have much savings, no. Okay. And you understand that? Yes. Great. So your mother used her credit card in order to give you money to fix your car? Yes. And how much did she use on her credit card? I don't know how much the actual charge was on the credit card. Um, I know when we went to Firestone, she swiped her credit card and she signed for it and everything. So I don't know what the actual total. Miss Cordell, how much did you put on your credit card to fix your daughter's car? To fix my daughter's car, it was for $1,252.